Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for March 2023. I do hope that this reading finds you doing very well. I want to take a second to remind you that it is a general reading and it may not resonate for everyone out there, so just take what does resonate for you and leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the readings that are monthly are predictive in nature, so these events, if they are not occurring right now, could be occurring in the next few weeks. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started. Spirit, what would you like Sagittarius to know for the month of March? Okay. All right, we have the Five of Swords, and it is crossed by the Sun. Okay. So you may have had some kind of an argument or conflict with someone. You may be very upset about this in the current energy. Um, but I do feel that you're going to get some clarification on this and it's going to make you very happy. Let's see what's happened here in the past. Either that or you're going to have a realization about it. Now, in the past, we have the Hierophant. So this has to do with commitment. It has to do with possibly a, um, a ongoing committed relationship. Why is all this happening? The Empress. Yeah, the Empress. Um, this is a feeling of self-worth and it's a feeling of, you know, knowing that you have it all, that you really are a good person and that you deserve everything that's coming towards you. What's on your mind is the Six of Wands in the reverse. You may be feeling a bit defeated. You may be thinking, oh, things are not going to work out for you. But I'm telling you that there's going to be a realization or or some kind of something's going to come to light about, you know, these feelings of being conflicted or these arguments or, you know, whatever this conflict is, something, it, and it's going to make you feel happy, okay? So... Be sure that you're not kind of leaning into negativity here that is causing you to, you know, hurt your own self. All right, because it, it almost looks like you're hurting your own feelings and you don't want to do that. All right, so let's see what March looks like. Show me March for Sagittarius. Show me March for Sagittarius. Show me March for Sagittarius. All right, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. See, that's more of that energy of just not feeling happy. It's emotional unfulfillment. It's, it's a negative mindset here. You're showing up as the Nine of Wands in the reverse, which is good. This tells me that there's things from the past that are haunting you, and you're overcoming whatever this is. Some of you might be going through some depression here. Um, let's see what the energy coming towards you is. The Eight of Coins. Yeah, somebody who um, is, is willing to put the work in. It could also mean that you're going to have to put the work into something here. Let's see what Spirit's advice is. Somebody might be feeling that they're having to work way too hard in a commitment or a relationship. And it might be that uh, it's because you're kind of going through a rough patch. All right. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So uh, we're going to clarify that. So Spirit is either going to discuss to you uh, or with you about somebody... Um, it could be about an argument, which would be this conflict. It could be that there's um, going to be advice about um, maybe some untruthful, uh, untruthful energy. Uh, it could also be that you're being guided to keep your counsel, not to not to say something. So we'll clarify that for sure. Let's see what your outcome is. Show me the outcome for Sagittarius. The 
two of cups. Aw, oh, look at that. Getting on the same page, finding love. This could be a soulmate. So I like this. I like this for you a lot. Um, this could be indicating that this is a same-sex couple. Doesn't have to be. But I do like this a lot. This is um, this is a card of great love. Partnership. At the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. Now, this is underlying energy, and it speaks of grounding yourself. It speaks of becoming stable and moving slowly. So, you might be moving very slowly um, towards your prosperity, towards commitment, but it is a, a card that indicates that there's a need to ground yourself. All right? It also tells me that your money is, is uh, coming in. There's money coming in and stability. So let's clarify here, Sagittarius. Why is the Five of Swords here? All right. We have the Emperor in reverse, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Death card. Okay, so there could be a conflict here that you're dealing with that created an ending. Somebody might have been cut out. Now, I do feel that, that there are other messages here, but I, I'll address that one first. Um, this could also be that <laughs> there's a need for you that you're feeling a lot of conflict. And this is the strongest message that I'm seeing is that you're feeling a lot of conflict because you're in a negative space. You're in a, a negative energy. And I, I'm not trying to be mean or <laughs> cast shade on anyone, but this is telling me, and I'm going to just say it the way the cards are reading, is you're being a bitch and you're causing conflict and you're causing problems because you are out of control. And that, you know, it's it's causing um, endings that don't need to happen. It's causing your own unhappiness. It's because you're going through a transformation here, and I I feel like um, I feel like it's causing you some insecurities, and it's causing you to act uncharacteristically. There's a need to take control because you're out of control right now. And it could be that you're experiencing some, some depression or some, you know, just anger. But it's because of a transformation. So let's see why the sun is here. I feel like you're realizing this. You're realizing that you're, you're hurting yourself here. All right. Yeah, we have the King of Swords reverse. And the Four of Wands reversed. Now, I'm going to address both um, both timelines that I'm seeing here. So, for some of you, there is an ending here, but this is with a karmic. This is with a karmic connection. Um, there's a lot of anger, and there's a on both sides, and I feel like. Um, there's an ending happening because it is a karmic connection. Now that's, and, and you're going to realize this. You're going to understand this and realize this. Um, and that person that you're dealing with, either you're being very controlling or they are. So somebody's being overly controlling. Now, in the other situation where I told you, you know, it's, you're kind of not being accountable. You're a little bit out of control. It's because of the transformation that's taking place. This transformation could deal with a divorce, an ending of some sort. It could be that it's dealing with a lack of stability. And I do feel that you're very angry and I do feel that you're going to realize this. There's going to be a realization about this. Now, let's see why the Hierophant is here. So, I do see two timelines. So, just take it as it resonates with you. 
some of you, this may have to do with a job where there's a lot of conflict and you may be ending that job. You may be leaving it because it's just intolerable. You may have a very poor boss. I see that timeline as well. There's somebody who has a boss that is extremely controlling and nasty. They're just nasty and create conflict all the time. You, I feel like you will be leaving that situation. You're, you're, you're exiting that situation because you're not happy about the way you're being treated and it's causing a lot of instability in your life and you just want to be happy. Now, in the past, we have the Hierophant. It's clarified by the Seven of Wands and the Tower in Reverse. So I do feel that in each of these three situations that I'm seeing, I do see you feeling powerless. You're very committed. So if this is a person, you're committed to that person. If this has to do with a job, even though you have this very nasty boss, you're very committed to your work, to your job, but it's leaving you feeling powerless. It's like you feel that you have no power in this situation. You're very committed, but you're doing everything you can, can to avoid a huge collapse. Um, if this has to do with you and it's your energy that is kind of a little wonky right now, there's somebody you're involved with that is feeling powerless to help you. They're feeling powerless and they're avoiding conflict because they're they're trying, although the conflict is there, somebody that you're involved with is trying to, to help you rebuild yourself, but they feel powerless in this. They feel that they cannot help you. So take it as it resonates. Um, the reason all this is happening is the Empress. And that tells me that there is a lot of prosperity that is here or is coming your way. Um, it's clarified with the magician. Sign of Gemini. And we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So if this has to do with relationship that is ending with a karmic, I see that you are hesitant to walk away. You're holding on to this, but you have so much prosperity. You are the empress. And so you know your value and your worth, and that's why you're angry. That's why these endings are happening with this particular person. You're manifesting that prosperity, and you're manifesting your divine counterpart. If you are in the situation where this is a job, the reason this reading is happening is you're, pro you're manifesting your prosperity, but you're having a difficult time walking away from this particular job because you are committed to it. If this is a situation where you are experiencing um, a difficult time in your life, I am seeing that you will realize, you will realize and understand your value and your worth. What you're manifesting is going to come to fruition. But there's some difficulty that you have in, in a reoccurring pattern in your life. There's something that's reoccurring that's causing this, this dip in your energy. All right, so let's see what's on your mind. You have the six of wands in reverse. So you're feeling unsuccessful. It's like you you think that things are not going to work out. Things are, you know, going to collapse on you at any moment. We have the six of swords reversed. And we have the seven of coins reversed. So what's on your mind is, like I said, you, you're feeling like everything's failing you that uh, you're impatient for success, and but you're feeling extremely stuck, like you can't move past this energy. And that's in all three of these cases. Now, these are your thoughts. And so I, I feel like you have to kind of get control of your thoughts because you're trying to manifest. And what's keeping you in this recurring pattern is this negative thinking, this, this cyclical 
thing that's happening here. It's keeping you stuck. And I think you're realizing that. So let's see what's coming for you in the month of March. Show me March for Sagittarius. Show me March for Sagittarius. Show me March for Sagittarius. All right. We have the Two of Swords. We have the King of Cups reversed. We have the Six of Cups. The Three of Cups. The King of Wands reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Three of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. And the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's talk. I see that going into the month of March that you're very discontent with the way things are. For those of you that are, let's break it down into the three, three different timelines that I've seen. For those of you going through a karmic connection that is ending, you're very unhappy and I can see the unhappiness. It's, it's just all over you. And it, it makes me feel sad for you to be honest with you because this is legitimately somebody who is not very nice. And I feel like it's, it's causing a lot of unhappiness in your life. And I can see that in the first week, I see you making a decision here. It's a decision that it's taken you a long time to make. You've kind of put it off for quite some time, but you're at a crossroads. And so I see you kind of pulling your emotions back. And I see that you are, are making a decision to do so. It's a decision to, to kind of close your heart off to this person. This may be somebody that you've known for quite some time. And I do feel that there are some fond memories here. But I see you making a decision to kind of shut down that emotional side that you are you have for this person. It's like um, you've lost that loving feeling, even though there are good memories. Now, I am seeing that somewhere around mid-month, this person will try to reconcile the situation with you. They will return. They'll probably be giving you gifts. And I do see that they are, this person is going to try to reconcile. I don't think you're going to have any of it. I, I see you by mid-month. I see you just feeling soured towards this person. The very fact that they want to reconcile turns you off. You've lost your love. You've lost your passion for this person. But you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you can't move forward for some reason. I am seeing by the third week of March that you're not taking action because you do feel stuck. That you can't move forward. And... I'm also seeing by the end of March, there's a bit of pessimism. You're, you're realizing your future no longer lies with this person. And I feel like um, you're feeling stuck, like you can't, like things aren't going to turn around for you. And I feel that you, you're tired of waiting for this change. I do see, I do see, um, that you don't have a high opinion of this person any longer. I see you cutting off communication. 
it's like a, a progression through the month. If you're in a karmic connection, it's a progression. You, first, you shut off your feelings. By the middle of the month, you're no longer taking action towards this person. And in the third week, I see you like feeling very stuck and pessimistic. No longer having passion by the middle of the month for this person in, in any way. And you cut communication off by the end of the month and you seek new love. So, yeah. And you, I feel like you're going to find it too. You you go in search of new love and you will find it. For those of you that this has to do with a boss or a job, I'm seeing also a decision. You're very unhappy in this job. You don't love it anymore. You've been committed to it, but you don't love it. You make a decision um, here in the very beginning of the month. You're at this crossroads, and you have been for a while. I'm seeing you, although you have very fond memories in this place, this workplace, I'm seeing you fielding other offers. I'm seeing you getting yourself back out there. You're making contacts. You're you're looking at other offers. You may even you may even have an interview or two. You're definitely putting the word out and you're making um you're making contacts with others that could be helpful to you by the middle of the month. I am seeing in the third week that you feel very stuck and unable to take action. You don't want to be where you are, but you're feeling stuck like this is never going to budge. You're never going to be able to exit this situation. And I am seeing that in the last week of March, you, you again, it's this pessimistic feeling of, of being stuck. You're impatient to get communication, but it's not coming through. And at the very end of March, I see an offer coming in. It's going to be a small offer. Somebody's testing the water. Somebody's feeling you out. But it'll happen at the end of March. And again, I'm seeing that you are going to move into a better situation. For those of you that you have, you're struggling with your own issues here and you do have somebody that is willing to help you and they very much love you, they're feeling powerless. I see you, um, I see you entering the month feeling extremely discontent. There's a need for self-love here because your heart is shutting down. And I do feel that you make a decision here. You make a decision to kind of withdraw. You, you've withdrawn. At some point in, in this feeling of despair or this feeling of being um, in, out of control, you really do kind of close yourself off. It's like you've built a wall around yourself. The person who loves you, they truly do love you. I can see it so clearly. This person is going to be reaching out to you. They're going to be trying to coax you out of this energy. This is somebody that you have had a, a extensive past with. They may even bring you gifts or flowers. They're going to take you out. They're trying to help you to feel better. And it, it is going to help you for a brief moment. I see you, you know, going out and feeling a little happier around the middle of the month. But I'm also seeing that it's just a short-lived thing at that time. Something disappoints you in the middle of the month and you drop back into that feeling of being stuck, not really acting on in your own best interest, not moving forward, kind of stagnating again. 
feeling extremely pessimistic in the third and fourth, um, beginning of the fourth. Yeah, actually the third and the beginning of the fourth week. I see you being very pessimistic in the fourth week because you feel stuck. You feel like your life's not moving forward. You're very negative in that time frame. But I'm also seeing that whoever this is, is very steadfast. They are not somebody who is in and out. They're very steadfast. And I do see, I do see you, um, I see you kind of shutting down communication also in the fourth week because of this pessimism. And then I see an apology. And this is your apology. You're going to apologize to this person that you've kind of shut out. It's that progression of shutting this person out, but it's not because of them. It's because you're experiencing a difficult time. I'm also seeing a new beginning here, a new beginning. And I'm seeing you um, apologize. There's a new beginning and renewed love in this connection. It's it solely is somebody who is going through a very difficult time. It looks like a, a dark night of the soul or a depression of some sort. But I do see a new beginning happening for you by the end of the month. So let's look at your energy. This is a very complex reading because it's hitting very three very different scenarios that are, you know, have some similarities in the way they're manifesting. So I'm I'm sorry, but it may be a long reading. All right, so you have the Nine of Wands reversed. It's clarified with Strength in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands reversed. So the good news is, is that you are going to overcome these things. Uh, in each case, I see you overcoming them. These are things that are haunting you, things that are have gone on for quite some time, and you feel very wounded by these things. You feel hurt. You may be um, feeling powerless. You may be feeling like you're not strong enough to handle this. Some of you are feeling very betrayed, particularly if you're in a karmic situation or with a job situation. It's more imagined than real if, you, if you're going through a depression. You're dealing with fears. You're dealing with feelings of betrayal. But the good news is, is that all of this conflict is going to end. If you're in conflict with a karmic person, you're, you're going to overcome that. You're going to put it behind you, and that conflict's going to end. This person has betrayed you. If you are dealing with a very controlling and nasty boss, I see an ending coming. And either they will feel betrayed or you will. But I feel like this is your energy. You feel very betrayed. You would not betray this this place because you're very committed to your your job and the people that you work with. But you're going to put an end to it because you're done with this conflict. And I see you overcoming this. And for those of you that are um, going through a emotional period right now, you're going to overcome that. These are ghosts of your past that have haunted you for a while made you feel powerless, brought out a lot of fear, especially fear of betrayal. But I I have to tell you that some of that is more in that negative thinking than it is in real, actual things happening. And you are going to come out of that conflict within yourself. So either way... Um, in either of these three situations, you're overcoming this energy. All right, show me why the Eight of Coins is here. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Three of Coins. And we have the Knight of Cups. So the energy coming towards you. Um, if you are in a karmic situation, this person, um, this person may be trying to work on it 
because they do actually have feelings for you. They do love you. Could be a water sign, which is a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. This person does have love for you, and I do feel that they are a person who is tormented by their own demons. They are trying to work on themselves. They're trying to work on this connection, but they're not a happy person. And I do feel that they have love, but they have difficulty actually extending that love. This is somebody who you are in a contract with or a connection with. There is a stable foundation of sorts. And this person is going to extend themselves to you. Um, you're, I don't think you're going to accept it, but I do think that is going to be extended towards you. If you are in a job position, this uh, has to do with work. It's a very painful work situation at this point. I do feel that you have had a lot of love for this job at one point. There is a deep commitment. You work very hard, and this person knows. This person you're dealing with, this nasty little boss, they do realize that you are a hard worker and that you love your work. I think that when you try to exit this, they will make you an offer to try to keep you there. If this is a situation where you're going through a very rough patch, a difficult rough patch, I do see the energy um, that is coming towards you is a loving partner who is willing to work on this, but it's painful for them. This person loves you deeply, but they're starting to build a little bit of a wall because they don't know how to fix the situation. They are committed to you though, and they will be, they will still continue to offer their love to you, but this is painful for them and, and you should know that. But this person is devoted to you and they are, they do love you. This is, this is a painful experience for them as well because they're trying to help you through this. Now, Spirit's Advice, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Why? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Two of Cups. Now, your outcome, um, Five of Cups reversed. I'm sorry. Your outcome is the Two of Cups. All right. So, in Spirit's advice, Spirit is telling you that there are things that you don't know here. There are things that you're going to find out. There are things that are not truthful. So, in the karmic situation, if you're dealing with a karmic that you are separating and, you know, putting an end to. There's been lies. There's been lies and there's been things that are not, have not been said truthfully. And these things are going to be found out. It's going to create a lot of conflict and you're going to go through a very difficult period, but there is love on the other side of that. If you're dealing with a boss or a co-worker that is just nasty and controlling. There have been um, times that you, the Spirit is saying there's times when you need to watch and listen, but don't, don't say anything because there's a lot of conflict in this situation. Spirit is also saying that Something better is coming around the bend. It's around the corner, but you have to stop focusing on this past situation, this past job, in order to find it. Look for what is new. Look for what is coming. There's something better coming. And you're to keep your mouth shut so you don't engage in conflict because no good will come from that. If you're dealing with your own personal demons here, Spirit is telling you, again, keep your mouth shut, <laughs> that there are, that you're lying to yourself basically about some things. And I'm seeing that you need to find 
find the truth, that you're not being truthful with yourself here, and it's creating conflict, that you need to do more listening, less talking, because there's someone here that truly loves you, and you're so focused on what you don't have that you're not seeing that person. You're not seeing the love that is there because you're so focused on the past. Spirit is saying, get out of that energy. Remove yourself from that energy. All right, let's look at your outcome. I know this is a long reading, guys. I was not expecting this. Um, I had the same thing happen in a cancer reading at one point. Okay, so, but I, I have to address it if I see it because somebody needs to hear it. All right, so we have the lovers, we have the nine of swords, and we have the wheel of fortune. Wow, what a nice outcome. This is a nice, nice outcome. So, in your outcome... You have such good things coming. There's going to be a dramatic, radical shift. It's it's karmic, um, like a repaying of good good things coming your way. It's a sudden shift. Everything's going to start moving in a good direction. And it's going to be the change is going to be have to do with this nine of swords. What you've been worrying about, what you've been, you know, stressed about. It, there's going to be a shift, a sudden shift in your favor. Now, let's go through the three scenarios again. If you are dealing with a karmic person, once you refocus yourself and you stop focusing on the past, once you, you put an end to that, there's going to be a big change in your life and it's going to be positive. All the things you worried about are going to change. You will meet somebody, and this person is going to be your soulmate. This other person was a karmic. They were there to help you learn lessons. Having learned your lessons, you will be ready to move forward, and your life is going to move forward. All the things you worried about will change in a very positive direction. For those of you that are looking at a difficult job situation, you're going to find a job that you are going to truly, truly love. You're going to be on the same page. You're going to be with compatible energy, co co-workers, the whole nine yards. And again, the things that you have worried so much about, everything's changing for the positive. If you are going through a very difficult period in your life right now, you've gone through depression the person that has stood by your side that you are in a committed connection with, they will continue to stand by you. This situation is beginning to shift and everything is moving in your favor. All the things you've worried, stressed, felt depressed about, felt down on yourself about, it is all shifting. Everything is moving in your favor. It's like a gift. It's a gift from, from Spirit himself or herself, whatever. I don't know. Um... Yeah, but it's going to require work on your behalf. And this person, I have to tell you, this person is so extremely devoted to you. They will be very instrumental in helping you to create those changes for yourself. So in all three circumstances, you are grounding and stabilizing yourself. You are overcoming all of these problems, these fears, these worries, these problems that are actual and really there and for that person out there that is struggling and kind of being their own worst enemy um that's turning around too everything is going to move by the end of the month it's going to move in a very positive direction so march might be difficult but understand that you have like a big change coming by the end of the month Bottom of the deck is the star card. That, my friend, is hope. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I see Gemini here, too. Very strong Gemini. Um, but I wouldn't get tied up in the signs. I see hope coming back into your life. I see healing coming into your life. I see balance coming into your life. And these are all underlying energies. The secret to this is to, and money, by the way, 
But the secret to this is to really ground yourself and to balance out your energies. Whew, that was a that was a tough read, Sagittarius, because it just had these three very distinct and separate timelines, but yet they're all merging together um, in a similar uh, pattern somehow. So, oh my goodness. And look at this. You have your oracle card is happy, happy. It's number 26, which comes out to eight. And eights indicate exiting or walking away from something. Walking away from a karmic. Walking away from a job that doesn't, doesn't serve you anymore. Or simply walking away from the energy of not valuing yourself and feeling down on yourself feeling you know that depression you're exiting it you're leaving it this card also reminds me very much of the star card in some decks so let's look at this happy happy i'm going to read this directly for you it's like a validation of your outcome there which i really like all right so the essential meaning of this card is joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, and a feeling that all is well. So the Oracle's message, it says your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You, you will be free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over the yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy, for the sake of joy, and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside of yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. This is what you have to look forward to at the end of the month, Sagittarius. Now, if this is a relationship message, it says there are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you're with and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now not somewhere else or off in the future. Now, keep in mind, this is what you're, you're moving into at the end of the month, okay? The grass is greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship, and if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself, like bees to honey. Your prosperity message, for those of you that this reading is about your money or your job position, it says, this is a time to take pride in your accomplishments. You're doing good work, providing exceptional service, and are well compensated for it. This is what you're moving into, guys. Um, the world rains gratitude upon you, and you're happy with the results of your efforts and creativity. Isn't it amazing to consider all that you've done? Remember your partnership with Spirit in this moment, too. Your soul has always known you could accomplish anything if it brought you joy. Nice. Your protection message, guys, it says lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly. See the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously. Have fun, be playful, and make laughter the order of the day. You will be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way. Being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker. Life is meant to play, is meant for play as well as work, for laughter as well as tears, for celebration as well as focus. Spirit wants to sparkle through you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in the silly things today. And you, you guys have that miracle coming. I mean, this is, you're going to end the month in such a different place from how you're beginning it that it's amazing to me. Like, it looks like it's going to be a difficult month. I'm not going to lie. 
but you you need to focus here on what's coming your way and that's going to bring it to you all the faster so i i really think that you guys are going through difficulties it's going to get better you're it, it's going to get so much better it's going to be night and day all right so i do hope that this has been helpful for you guys if you've resonated with this in any way please like this video also if you have not yet subscribed i would be grateful if you did so please subscribe to my channel and until i see you guys in your weekly readings namaste